Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, lovelies. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Sunday morning. Welcome to Sunday morning. Sunday morning, natural healing Sunday. This is when we get ourselves moving and breathing together. Here I am just getting myself moving and breathing for the day. Just starting up the engine. Just a little bit of, you know, movement and breathing and thinking and speaking about the things that I want rather than the things that I've got. Oh, I know, I know the troubles. I know how the troubles can be. And I know how the troubles can get us down. And all of us have all been so down the last year and a half. Isn't it true? Isn't it so? For all of us, right? As a, as a collective, our energy has been depressed by fear and worry and uncertainty. We've been made into lower energy, lower frequency beings. We've been dampened. Our energy has been dampened. And you know, when we're in that low energy space, we really can't create the life that we want to. And so we have to do our best to try and pick up our energy. And this is what this is all about. It's about picking up our energy with movement and thought and word. It's about emotional healing, energetically healing ourselves and our lives. It's about taking action from within ourselves. It's about changing ourselves for ourselves, by ourselves, from the energy that's within us. I believe we all have energy inside of us, and I believe that we all can access that energy and use it to fix and change and heal our lives. And this is the practice. It's a self-healing practice healing ourselves with our own loving energy, our own emotion, our own feelings, our own thoughts and words and actions. This is how we create our reality. The things that we think and say and do, this is the way to fix and change and heal and create the life of your dreams. This is the way to change your health it's the way that we think and speak and talk and act that creates our reality. If we want to create heaven or create hell, we do it the same way. By our actions, by our behavior, our life is created this way. It was just a year and a half ago now that I was, you know, shut down. My business was shut down. You know, I think all of us can relate to the closure of everything. The fitness business was decimated, and it's still decimated, as gyms try to get ourselves back in business as they start to open up the economy and allow people to, to exercise and close space again. You know, my business was shut down and I, and I was really terrified, overwhelmed with fear and worry about, you know, how I would be able to support my family, take care of myself and my kids and my wife, worrying about my customers and my business and my future. I was filled with fear by what was going on around us. And I think all of us, many of us, most of us can relate to those fear-filled feelings. And I think many of us are still scarred and affected by that. 
We want to try to change that energy as best we can. This is the, this is the response I made, was to begin to, to um, engage with myself and my life in a different way. I was so afraid from what was going on around me that I just found I had no choice but to look within. It was the only alternative to try and find some peace in my life. And although it's, you know, a terrible circumstance that's happened around, I, I have to say, you know, thank you for, for the blessing that it has allowed in my life for me to find joy and peace and happiness inside of myself and to create a system and a method in order to share that with others. This is my response. It's a practice. It's a habit. It's a ritual. It's a thought and word and movement practice. It's all that I can do with all that I have. It's me. It's my best foot forward in the situation that we're all in. It's just meeting my, my life and my situation with my best, with my best intentions, with thoughts and words and movement that are in alignment with my goals. It's beginning my day with the best thoughts and words and energy. It's getting up and getting into that energy to begin the day. So I rise and I want to come to the thoughts and words of what I want. I want to love myself. I want to love my wife. I want to love my children. I want to love my clients, my business, my future. And I want to leave something here on the earth that creates change and offers change and delivers change to humanity. This is my goal. So I get up and I say it. Here I am making myself accountable just letting you know what I'm doing. You know, get up and begin your day thinking and speaking about the things that you want to create in your life. This is a habit. It's a ritual. It's a way of being. It's a practice. It's a movement and a breath. It's a presence. It's a presence practice. It's an emotional shifting practice. It's, it's, a, it's invigorating ourselves with movement. It's, it's removing the pain from the body. It's healing the body with movement. It's healing the body with presence. It's healing the body with energy, with the energy of love. It's using the universal force, the source energy that's within every single one of us. It takes some belief. You'd have to believe that you have access to the power of the universe within you. This is my belief. I'm just affirming it. I'm just making myself accountable. I'm just putting it out there. I believe that I have access to the power of the universe. I believe that we all do. This is my practice. Here I am waking myself up, just standing with my arms nice and wide here. This is a great place to begin. Working on extension, nice and tall and centering myself in my breath, just breathing, breathing deeply. Working on my best breath. It's a breath work practice. Nice deep inhales and exhales. My clock chimes are on 30 seconds and I'm gonna be, you know, working with intervals of 30 seconds or a minute. Here I am just rotating my body. Just twisting my body as far as I can, but keeping my feet grounded firmly to the floor. Just rotating as far as I can with grounded feet. Just breathing and moving, warming up, waking up. Now I'm gonna pivot the foot. So by pivoting, coming up onto the toe, 
That just allows my hips to come through, allows me to turn and look back. Turn and look back. Just pivoting the foot, allowing the hips to swivel through, and just turning and looking back. Just working on rotation, core rotation. Warming up, waking up. Letting go one hand, letting go the other hand, turning right around as far as I can. Opening up my chest and shoulders, waking myself up with movement, waking myself up with breathing, waking myself up with presence. I am intending to rise up my energy this morning. Getting myself into a plank position. Looking out over top of my fingertips, keeping myself flat to the floor. Focusing on my breathing, I'm picking up my energy here in the plank, working on my core, my chest, my shoulders, working on my breath, tuning into the energy inside of me. Every single one of us can tune into the energy inside of ourselves. Watch your breath, stay with your breath, and see if you can stay focused on your breath. Don't go with the thoughts in the mind. Don't get caught by the worries or the troubles in your mind. Rather stay focused on your breathing. Stay focused within. Good. Dropping myself down on my back here, on my mat, I'm gonna work, continue to work on rotation, only now I'm rotating through my lower body. Flipping over onto my back, I'm gonna twist over to one side and twist over to the other side. Swiveling, stretching through the hips, through the lower back, working through my core, taking my feet as close to my hands as I can, taking my feet as close to my hands as I can, working on rotation, working on the core. Breathing, coming into present, coming into here and now. I am waking myself up. I believe in myself. I believe I am good. I believe I am good enough for myself and my life. I am healing myself and healing my life. These are just affirmative thoughts and words, just speaking positively rather than speaking from a fear-based place. Coming out of the fear thoughts and words, flipping over here into plank, I'm working on my chest and shoulders, opening up my chest and shoulders, opening myself up, with movement and breath. Working on my core, carrying my weight in one hand, carrying my weight in the other. Flexibility and core strength. Watching my breath. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Staying focused inside of me.
grabbing my mat again here. I'm dropping to my butt. And I'm continuing with core rotation. This time I'm rotating in the seated position. I got my feet on the ground, but if you like, you could pick your feet up as well too to make it more challenging. Working on my core, twisting through my center, waking myself up. Moving and breathing, picking up my energy for today with my intentions, speaking it out over myself and my life, and imagining that, using the power of my imagination, my feminine energy, my creative force. Awesome, flipping myself over again here. I'm gonna get back into plank position and I'm going to work on my lower body rotation, taking my feet across my body. Taking my feet across my body, rotating through the lower body in the plank position. Good job. Coming back to my mat, dropping down on my tummy, just working on that lower body rotation a little bit more. Picking the foot up and taking it across my body. Rotating through the lower body, twisting through my core, Moving and breathing. Rotation, core rotation. Waking up with core work, with flexibility, with strength, with breath. Coming up from there, I'm moving into a wide leg stance, and I'm continuing with my rotation. I'm flexing over, I'm bending over, I'm reaching back, I'm twisting back, I'm starting to get a little bit more vigorous now, I'm picking up my temperature, I'm getting my heart pumping, I'm twisting. I'm rotating, I'm stretching, I'm strengthening my body. I am strengthening my body. I am lengthening my body. I am getting into shape. I am changing my life. Just choosing positive thoughts and words. Letting go of the busy mind and the things that are going on inside of my mind. Not thinking and talking about the problems. Taking some time to focus on me and give some love and care to myself. We all deserve that. And there's nothing wrong with that. My next one, I got my medicine ball. You can use a, a light weight or a can of soup or a bottle of water if you don't have a, a medicine ball. I'm just reaching over and reaching up. Reaching over, bending, extending, extending, flexing over, rotating up for the extension. Breathing out, exhale, come on up, inhale. Watching the breath and the movement, exhale, Come on up, inhale, tune into yourself. Tune out the external, tune into the inside. 
You can't change the outside, switching sides, but you can change the inside. You have full power over what's happening inside your internal world. You can't change the external world. Let that go. Focus within. Focus on your breath. It's a practice to learn how to tune into your inner energy and to take control and management of what's happening inside of you. My next one here, I'm taking that ball up over my head, behind my head to get my elbows bent and use my triceps. I'm chopping down through the core. Inhale and exhale, chop down hard through the middle of the body. Inhale, exhale, chop down hard through the middle of the body. Just working on my movement and my breath. Inhale and chop down hard exhale. Stay tuned into yourself. Don't go with the fearful thoughts in your mind. Continue with loving affirmative thoughts in your mind. I am getting healthy. I am getting well. It's practicing the thoughts and words of our goals. It's coming to the energy of what we wish to create rather than spending all of our time thinking and talking about the problem. It's a shift of focus and attention. Dropping my butt here, working into the legs. Coming up now. Getting those bigger muscles going, dropping my butt, coming up, press up over the head, dropping my butt, coming up, press up over the head, dropping my butt, coming up, press up over the head, exhale, inhale, watching the movements and the breath. It's a practice, it's a habit, it's a behavior to tune into yourself, to learn how to tune into yourself. Just focusing, just moving, just breathing. My next one. I'm grabbing my Swiss ball here. If you don't have a Swiss ball, you can practice this on the floor. If you do have the ball, wonderful. Bridging myself down onto that ball. I'm reaching over my head for a great big stretch. Pulling through my shoulders. Stretching out over the head. Pulling through my shoulders. If you're doing this on the floor, you might do it this way just to the floor and then lifting. You could do this on the floor. If you've got the ball, wonderful. Just gives you a little more range of motion to stretch it out and pull through. Inhale and exhale, pull through. Stretch it out, inhale, exhale, pull through. Stretching out the backs of those arms, stretching out those back muscles. Opening up those shoulders, working on your strength, working on you. Just practicing. Just practicing your very best energy for the day. Just beginning your day in the very best way. Bookend your day with your best energy. Coming up again from there. I'm coming back to my medicine ball or my soup can or my bottle of water. You don't even need to have an object. You can do this without an object. Just working on my squat jump. Getting more vigorous. If you can leave the earth, awesome. If you can't, just come up onto your tippy toes. And don't jump if you can't, that's okay. 
if you can, let's get you up and jumping if you can. A little pop up, awesome. Pick up your energy. Let's get the heart pump in. Let's get the fluids moving through the body. Let's get the body breathing. Let's get the body hot. Let's come to life. Awesome. Squat jumps. Next one, I'm working on my bench press. I'm doing it off my Swiss ball, but you could also do it off the floor. You can do it off of the mat. You could also substitute it for some push-ups. Push-ups on your knees, push-ups on your toes, or push-ups off of the couch or a, a chair or something to make it a little easier for yourself if you can't do push-ups, that's okay. If you got the dumbbells, if you got the weight, and you got the Swiss ball or a bench, we can do it off of a bench. Working on my bench presses, stretching out through the chest and shoulders, to getting my elbows back behind my body if you can, and pressing through, or working on your push-ups. A couple sets of push-ups off your knees or toes are a great alternative. Trying to keep myself flat to the floor. I'm working on my chest and my shoulders. I'm working on my breath. I'm working on here and now. This is where the work is always done. Always in the present. Always in the now. This is where we create our future. Always in the now. Coming up from there, and back to my medicine ball. This time I'm gonna work into a little bit of balance and strength. Standing on one leg, I'm gonna take my medicine ball over and up. Over and up. If you've got the ability to add a hop, Wonderful. Go for the hop if you can. And if the hop's not available for you, that's okay. We build it up slowly. You'll get there if you practice. Just practice your best and watch. Your best will get better. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Same thing on the other side, single leg balance or single leg balance and hop. Over and up, stretch it out, come on up, extend. Over, stretch it out, come on up, extend. Awesome, coming up from there, back to my two dumbbells. I'm gonna have two dumbbells in my hand here, two water bottles, two soup cans, two dumbbells if you can. I'm gonna have one leg forward, and I'm gonna work on my alternate arm row. Gonna be pulling those arms back. Let's go, 30 seconds, working on one side, Pulling the arms back. Keep the torso still. Pull the elbows back. Working on my back muscles, working on my arm muscles, working on my upper body, stimulating my body for today. Invigorating myself for today. I'm going for my best today. Happy Father's Day. Take a little breather. Catching my breath. I'm gonna put the other leg forward. Balance and strength and stability. Working on the other side. Other leg forward. Let's go again. 30 seconds. Doing it again. Forward lunging and rowing. Working on me. Working on my best. 
I'm getting into shape. I'm getting strong and lean and energetic and enthusiastic. I am healing myself. I am making myself well. I am taking responsibility for my health and well-being. Next one, I'm dropping my tummy down on my ball. I'm walking myself out and I'm working on my push-up. If you don't have the ball, you can do those off your knees or your toes. Working on my upper body strength. Working on the back of my arms. I am toning up my arms. I am tightening up my body. I am getting fit and lean and strong. What's that? Just speaking nicely to myself. Just learning how to be my own best friend. That's a practice. A practice of speaking in the affirmative. Next one here, I'm coming back to my medicine ball. Balance and strength and stability. Standing on one leg, I'm gonna hold that ball over my head. If you can, I'm hopping on one leg with the ball over my head. If that's too much, just work on your balance. If you can, hop on one leg with a ball over your head, you're awesome. Do it if you can. Single leg, balance and strength and stability. Standing on one leg. Same thing on the other side. Single leg, balance and strength and stability. Ball up over your head if you can. If you can't do 30 seconds, maybe you can do 10 or 20 or 30 hops on one leg, 30 to 50 hops on one leg, two sets of 10 or 15 or 20. If you need to make any modifications, if you need to take a break, don't worry about that. You're not bad because you need to take a break or you can't do something. We gotta stop thinking we're bad. We are never bad. You are always good. Sometimes you make mistakes, but it doesn't mean you're not good. Just horizontal rotation, just rotating, just twisting through my core, carrying my medicine ball, catching my breath, moving and breathing. Working on myself, working on me. Next one here, I'm grabbing my ball again. A little bit of balance and stability off of one leg, off of the other, extending out my body, moving and breathing. Inhale, exhale, alternating sides. Inhale, exhale, tune into your breath. Tune out the external noise. Tune out the busy mind. Tune out the critical thinking. Get rid of the stinking thinking. Let's get a new dialogue, a new internal dialogue. Let's get a positive, loving, kind internal dialogue. Let's change our lives from the inside. The next one here, I'm back to my medicine ball or no medicine ball. I could use a couple of weights. I could use a medicine ball, doesn't matter. Working on my lunges, stepping back into my lunges, stepping back, sinking my back knee. Can you get 30 lunges? Can you get 10? Can you get 20? What can you do? If you can do 30 lunges, awesome. If you want to hold those weights up, there's more work on your upper body and your core. Stepping back, working on my legs, 
Working on my inner thighs, working on my butt, working on my shoulders, working on my arms. I am working on me. I am working on my best. I am doing my best. You're working on 30 alternating reverse lunges. Catch your breath. If you need to take a break anytime, don't kill yourself. Don't worry. It's not about killing yourself. It's about loving yourself. Believe it? It's true. I'm telling you. It's about loving yourself. All the way up, over and around. All the way up, over and around. Working on my windmill. Working on my breathing. Working on my pendulum, working on my golf shot, swinging through. Tuning into me, tuning into my energy. Coming back to me, my dumbbells, two dumbbells turned in toward myself, turning them out away from myself, working on my alternate arm shoulder press. Let's see, 30 or 40 alternate arm shoulder presses, working on my shoulders and arms, working on my upper body. Working on my strength. Working on 30 or 40 standing alternate arm military presses. Coming back to my dumbbells, working on my rows. Bent over, pulling my arms back, working on my back muscles, working on my arms, working on my shoulders, working on my breath, toning myself up, getting into shape, not by killing myself, giving myself a push for sure, but not by annihilating myself. Bent over rows. Coming from there and slowing myself down with some flexibility here, working on my extension, reaching way up over my head, stretching out my body and breathing. Just allowing my energy to move through my body with my breath. With every inhale, I'm drawing up my energy. With every exhale, I'm allowing my energy to move through my body. Coming over from there, working on flexion, bending over. Over to one side. 
Taking my head towards my knee. Stretching out my hamstrings. Stretching out my lower back. Lengthening out my body. Just breathing. and resistance and blockage in your body. Just connecting to yourself. Just tuning into yourself. What are you thinking and saying and doing inside of yourself? Are you practicing love and kindness inside of yourself? Do you want more love and kindness in your life? Are you thinking and speaking about love and kindness right now? Just connecting to your inner energy, just tuning into you. Just tuning into the energy inside of you. Straightening out my legs again, back into flexion, hanging out my hamstrings, letting my head hang down. One leg forward, one leg back, both hands to the inside of the front foot. Forward lunging and breathing, lengthening out my inner thighs, lengthening out my hips, just stretching and tuning into myself, my own inner energy, my own inner dialogue. Stay within yourself. Can you focus on yourself for 30 to 60 minutes? Other side. Can you tune out the external world for 30 to 60 minutes? Can you stay focused within yourself? my leg back and dropping my knees down, stretching through my abdomen, letting go through my lower back, releasing through the front, chest and shoulders, just breathing there.
flipping over onto my butt, going into some flexion here, reaching over, grabbing the tops of my feet, if I can, reaching for my ankles and my shins, letting go through my hamstrings, through my neck, through my shoulders, through my lower back. I am releasing tension and tightness in my body. I am letting go of the things I no longer need. I am letting go of the thoughts and the words and the emotions that are holding me back from my dreams. Dropping onto my back, working into my core, pulling my knees into my elbows, jackknife. If you want to do that one leg at a time, you could do that one leg at a time. If you can pull both of those knees in, awesome. Inhale and exhale. Watching your breath, moving and breathing, tuning into yourself. On my back, I'm working on some inversion, getting my feet up over my head, allowing gravity to have, a, have its way with my body a little bit here. Letting go, letting the fluids, the blood and the lymph drain from my legs, letting it drip through my body. Slowly, to the best of my ability, lowering my legs over my head. Releasing through my lower back. Letting go through my hamstrings. Letting go through my neck and shoulders. Coming down from there, both feet in the air, reaching for my toes, crunching for my toes, flattening my tummy. I'm getting a flat tummy. I'm going for a flat tummy this year. Oh, I can't wait to have my flat tummy at the beach. Hands under my bum. I'm working on my leg raises. If you can't do two legs at the same time, that's okay. We can do that one leg at a time if you have to, if you're just getting started. If you can get both legs coming up at the same time, you are awesome. Practice. Everybody does their best. Just do your best, I promise. If you practice most of the time, if you practice most days of the week, I tell people four days out of seven, if you practice at least four days out of seven, movement and breathing and thoughts and words and happy, healthy, natural foods, I promise if you do the right thing most of the time, the right thing's going to happen to you for you. I promise. Got my opposite arm and leg here. I'm just taking it across my body. Stretching out through my lower back, through my hips. Just breathing. Just letting go of the things I no longer need. What thoughts and words and emotions don't I need anymore? What can I let go of? 
What don't I yet know? What do I still need to learn or discover about myself and my life? Same thing on the other side. Opposite arm and leg. It's just the way you speak to yourself. What do I need to learn? What do I need to change? What do I need to know? What can make me better? How can I be better? It's how you question yourself, how you speak to yourself. Not what's wrong with me. Why can't I do this? Why can't I get what I want in my life? Why is all of these things happening to me? These are the wrong questions, boys and girls. We gotta learn how to ask ourselves the right questions. Here I am, putting the soles of my feet together, working on my inner thigh, stretching out through my inner thighs. Letting go through my lower back, letting go through my upper neck and shoulders, releasing through my inner thighs. And then here I am, you know, finishing off my workout with a little bit of energy work, a little bit of energy healing, a little bit of mindset practice, a little bit of mindfulness, just connecting to my inner energies, how to do that. It's just a little bit of mindset practice. Just kind of tuning out the external and tuning into myself. Just watching your breath. Just close your eyes. Just watch your breath. And let's just be conscious of what we're thinking and saying and doing to ourselves right here, right now. See if you can just pay attention to your breath alone. See if you can watch your inhale and exhale. I'm just gonna turn off my clock here so the chimes stop for a second. You're just tuning into your breath. Tuning into your inhale and exhale. Tuning out the noise, the external noise. Just staying within you. Just staying within yourself. Just watching your inhale and exhale. Each inhale and exhale is another moment. We want to be present in the moment to create change in our lives. We need to be conscious of what we're thinking and saying to ourselves in each moment. Just observing the breath brings you to the present, brings you to the here and the now. Just practicing breathing, just practicing tuning inside of yourself. Understanding that in the mind, there's kind of two aspects to the mind and the thought. That there's the logical mind and the emotional mind. The decision maker and the creator. Masculine and the feminine in mind. The left and the right brain. The mother and the father. The decision maker, the logical mind, is the affirmative mind. I am healthy. 
I am well. I am lean. I am strong. I am beautiful. I am good. I am good enough. Just affirming positively, just speaking with the affirmative mind, the masculine mind, just tuning into the masculine mind. And then the feminine or the creative mind is the creator, it's the emotional mind, it's the feeling. It's to conjure the feeling. So I am good. And then kind of imagining yourself as being good. Just the feeling. Imagine yourself being good enough for everything you need in your life. Imagine yourself growing in love. Just imagine love growing inside of your body as you breathe. With each inhale, imagine love rising in your body, rising up through your energy centers, rising up through the crown of your head and circulating out into your world. Just using your imagination and your breath. With each inhale, I can draw up my energy in mind. With each exhale, I can allow my loving energy to circulate from me out into my world. Energetically blessing everyone in my world, everyone that I share this time and space with. This can be an imagination, an intention, and an imagination, and a breath work practice. This is an energy work or an energy healing practice. Just sitting with your energy and your focus and your attention and your breath, your intention, your imagination, and your breath. It's a practice. Begin and end your day with a consciousness practice, a conscious breathing and thinking and imagination practice. This is energy healing. This is emotional healing. This is Natural Healing Sunday. Every Sunday morning, I'm going to practice myself. And you're welcome to join in along with me here in private group. Hopefully, we'll see more of you. And hopefully, if you know a friend or someone else that needs help, with their energy, with their thoughts and words and emotions, with their health, with their nutrition, with their movement. If you know somebody that could use some help, please share my videos, my workouts, or my posts with them. I appreciate you. Thank you. Have yourself a super awesome, terrific day. I love you. I love you. I love you.